Alrighty, we are doing another update. So, funny thing is, I remember saying in my last video that I was doing really well, that I was kind of surprised that my like my, hint of, my mental health and my happiness was at a good level, considering that I spent a lot of time alone right now. And then, and then, this is what happened. Last week was complete shit. Like, I know, I know why it was complete shit, and I accept it. But it was funny how as soon as I, as soon as I make it known, I put it out there that I'm doing good, things just drop. So, for right now, I think, like, I know what to expect. Because here's the thing, I accept that I'm spending a lot of time alone, indoors, just trying to learn and not really, I'm not socializing too much. So I expect that my mental faculties will lower, that I will be dumber and that I will learn things a lot slower and that I just won't be top form. Which is why I am kind of against sharing my opinions and my ideas and my thoughts right now. Like I wouldn't, like if I go out on record or anything, like anything I post on my YouTube channel, do not. Do, I am aware that a month from now, like three months from now, I could be like, what the fuck was I thinking? Like, <laughs> where did that even come from? Like that is clearly dumb. But that's the price that I have to pay right now. I'm like, um, it's just, it's not too possible for me right now to socialize a lot because I just moved to Texas. I don't have a car. I don't even know how to drive. Um, the place where I live in isn't, there's nothing to walk to. Back where I used to live in Cali, I could walk to anything. I could walk to a library, coffee shop, get food. I could walk to see people. I could walk outside and there would be 30 other 20 year olds just there. That was just the environment I was around here. I walk outside and there's just warehouses or an apartment complex or just barren area. And I'm like, there's no way you're walking anywhere in Texas. Like even if there were like things like 15 minute walks away, the heat is insane. I would still walk to those things, but it's just, it's not as feasible to walk around here in Texas. So I understand that. I understand that there's a price to pay for the situation I got myself. But I chose to move here. I chose to move here. Kinda, kinda forced to move here because my housing situation didn't work out in Cali. But yeah, the point is, I understand that there is an amount of responsibility and accountability that I take over my my mental health and happiness right now and just my performance and how well I'm going to be able to do in my career. Like, I know that I'm trying to learn hacking right now and I'm trying my best to learn it and I feel dumb and I feel like I'm learning really slowly and I think to myself, there's no way in hell I can ever make money doing this. Well, the only thing that keeps me going is just like, well... There is literally nothing else that I feel that I could do better than this. Well, there is. I am, I am good at a lot of other things, but this is something that I am, like, I'm not scared to keep on going. Like, I think about it and I'm like, I've kind of come a long way already. I didn't think I would, but I've kind of come a long way already. So might as well just keep going. Like, might as well just continue. There's, there's a big payout if I just continue. I might be learning extremely, extremely slowly, but as long as I don't quit, I think I'll get there. It may take a long time. It may suck, but I'm really committed to continuing the path I'm on. And here's a couple ideas I'm having. Like since I'm spending a lot of time alone, it might be better for me to not absorb a lot of social media and get to see what other people are doing that I am that I don't get to do it because it upsets me. Don't get me wrong, I miss people. I miss people greatly. I wish I could do a lot of social activities. I, I really wish I could. But this is almost like a challenge for me that I put myself into on purpose because I need to, I need to at least know that I tried really, really hard to not be held back by any emotion I feel by depression or by loneliness. Like I need to know, I need to know either that I can or that I can't survive in situations like this. Like in my mind, I'm like, so what if I'm alone? So what if I don't socialize too much? So what if I don't meet up with friends? Like that, 
in my honest opinion, that should have nothing to do with how well I can mentally perform and how well I can physically perform in anything. Like I am, I'm very extreme on that. Like I don't, I don't want to believe for me, just for me personally, that just because I am alone, I will be more prone to like being lazy or not performing as well. I don't want that. And I need, I need to conduct this test of like, I'm going to put myself through this hell. I'm going to try to learn one thing and I'm trying to get good at it because I can, I can, let's say it takes a year at most. I can afford to lose a year. It would suck. Well, right now, like right now it's kind of to the point where it's kind of sucking. I see the drawbacks in it, but I'm willing to stick it out because maybe next week I'm going to be like, the fuck, this is easy. Like, I don't even need people. What the hell? Like, maybe it's a thing you pass a threshold and then you're like, oh, whatever. Like, I'm still good. I'm still happy. Like, and then you go back. One thing I've noticed a few times I've gone out to like go do some grocery shopping is that my social skills have like, they're still there. I can still do really well when I'm talking to people. And I'm also more inclined to talk to people now. I just, because I, 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 I can feel it. I know it. I just care a lot less about just saying, like, hey, what's up to the person next to me? Like, oh, that's cool. Making a little joke or something. And I like that. I think there are a lot of benefits to spending time alone, like a, like a good deal of time alone, and then going back out into the world and being like, whoa, I changed a lot. And this like things that matter to you before, you're just like, why did I ever care about that? Why was I afraid to do that? That's my experience. So this week, is it Wednesday? It is Wednesday. We just continue. <laughs> I'm currently reading a book about hacking APIs by Corey Ball. And I think I just got to keep reading. I got to keep reading and I got to keep watching videos and I got to keep practicing. Even if it feels like it's going nowhere, because here's the thing. The way, like, anything that I think about now, like, I think about this hacking thing, and I'm like, is this going to do anything good for me long term? I don't know. But I don't know if anything will do anything good for me long term. Like, if I choose to, I'm really interested in solar, electronics, robotics, coding. Um, I like magnetism. And I like, yeah, I want to build, like, a robot one day. But let's say I did an internship for a solar company. Do I know that that's going to do anything good for me long term i don't like i don't know like i may end up really sucking at it i may end up not liking it there is nothing in my life right now that i can be absolutely certain will be like important and like useful for my entire life so i might as well just stick to one thing that i've already said like oh this is pretty cool i could make some money with this if i get skilled at it and i practice it and then once i make money my goal right now is just to make money because with money I can solve my social my social dilemma because that's really all it is. Like I I'm going I I want I need friends. I need to be around people. I need to be around men, other men, and I need to be creating things with other people. That is a that it's a must for me. I need a group of people or just at least one other person that I interact with a lot that we might not be pursuing the same things. But we're building something like they're helping me with my thing and I'm helping them with that thing. And together, we're just building this group of people. We're building a community where we just grow. I need that. It's very much so. That is, I think, the most important thing that I might make in my 20s. It's just bringing people I like together and saying, guys, let's group up. It doesn't matter if we do one thing together or if we all just go our separate ways, but let's group up and let's just help each other out. My, I have a dream. I get a bunch of guys together and say, guys, let's get a house. Let's rent out a house. Let's all live there. And let's all just do some. Let's all just excel at whatever we want to excel at. Maybe we build a business or something together, but let's all just excel at something together. And then at night, we all just go party. We all just go to clubs, we all just go do whatever. We, it might not even be clubs, maybe we go to a football game. Maybe we just stay indoors and we play video games, but we do things 
together and we pull our resources together and we help each other out. That is my dream for my 20s. I think that is one of the best ways to achieve what you want is through teamwork, through a group effort. So right now, I make money. Um, I think in the long term, by the end of next year, I want to be back in California. And I'm giving myself a long time because I kind of need to stick around Texas for a bit. And I think since I feel like I'm learning really slowly, it's going to take me a while to get good at this hacking thing. And it's going to take me a bit to make money. But once I make money, I think my first goal is to get a car. Get a car. Learn how to drive. Once I get a car, I can start doing things on my own. I can start taking myself to like workspaces if I want to. I can start I can start meeting people, going out, I can start going to events I might like. And once I get a car, I learn how to drive. I need to go back to Cali, get my driver's license, stay in, probably stay in California for a bit. My friends are there. Try to convince some people to say, hey, let's move in together and let's make something because I'm kind of tired of not having a community of people. And because I know a lot of my friends right now are frustrated with their life. They're like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't know what the fuck is wrong. Like, I don't know if I am wrong or if it's just the world. And I'm like, guys, let's group up together then. And let's say, fuck everyone else. Let's focus on us three. And let's us three do something. And let's grind. And at night, we have, we have so much fun. We party, we blast it, we do whatever. But during the day, we grind. That's the dream. By the end of next year, be back in Cali for my driver's license. And I think that's it for right now. It's been a great year so far. I hope it ends the same way. And that's the update for this week. We'll see what next week, what I'm like next week.